Hello friends, this video on wastewater story part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. What is sludge? Explain how it is treated. So sludge is the dense solid waste which settle at the bottom of clarifier during wastewater treatment. Now this sludge contains the solid waste and it is organic in nature. So these organic wastes are treated First of all, it is removed from the clarifier using a scraper and after that, it is put into anaerobic sludge digesters and these anaerobic sludge digesters contain anaerobic bacteria which in absence of oxygen decompose the sludge. So they may actually break down the uh, sludge which is organic content in absence of oxygen. So that is how sludge is treated. And during the process of this anaerobic treatment of sludge, uh, several gases like methane, carbon dioxide is produced which, are co which is termed as biogas and this biogas is used as an excellent fuel. Question number 5. Untreated human excreta is a health hazard. Explain. That's very true. That's because human excreta is organic impurity. It contains organic substances. Now when this human excreta, if you directly dispose it off into a water body like river or ocean, it is going to pollute the entire water of that water body. It can also pollute groundwater because if human excreta is left on the ground, so gradually it will go below the ground and the entire groundwater will get polluted. It can cause soil pollution, obviously ground, from ground it will go to soil, so soil will get polluted. So if the soil gets polluted, it will affect the growth of plants. Contaminated water results in diseases, now the water which contains human excreta, that water is not healthy. And if that water is consumed, it can cause a lot of diseases in human beings like cholera, typhoid, dysentery, etc. Question number 6. Name two chemicals used to disinfect water. Now there are a lot of chemicals which are used for uh, tertiary treatment of water or to remove um, the final round of cleaning or to do the final round of cleaning of water. So one example is chlorine and this process is called chlorination in which few drops of chlorine are added to water. Obviously not excess amount of chlorine because chlorine is very toxic and this small amount of chlorine will kill all the harmful microorganisms in the water. The other chemical ca that can be used used is ozone and ozone can also help in disinfecting water. Question number 7. Explain the function of bar screens in a wastewater treatment plant. So bar screens as I said they contain long bars and they are structured in such a way that they will allow the liquid particles to pass through them. They will also allow the small sized solid particles to pass through them but the bigger sized particles will not be allowed. So the main function is to remove the larger objects like plastics, papers, ropes etc get removed here. So this is the first step in a wastewater water treatment plant and this is often categorized under the prelim uh, preliminary treatment. Question number 8. Explain the relationship between sanitation and disease. Now sanitation is all about maintaining the proper sewage system. So poor sanitation can lead to a lot of diseases. So when you have poor sanitation, this will favor the growth of disease causing microorganisms like bacteria and uh, viruses and etc. And these will cause several diseases in human beings. Poor sanitation can also lead to water pollution and that, that way it can harm the entire aquatic life of water bodies. It can also cause soil pollution. Because end of the day, water, soil, they are all linked to each other. And if the soil is polluted, all the plants growing on that soil will get hampered. Question number nine. Study the following statements about ozone. It is essential for breathing of living organisms. Not really. For breathing, we need oxygen. It is used to disinfect water. Yes, that's pretty much true. It absorbs ultraviolet rays. Yes, that is also true that ozone has, the, this is the most unique property of ozone that it has the ability to absorb the ultraviolet rays coming from the sun and there exists a layer of ozone surrounding our atmosphere that is called ozone layer. And the, the purpose of that ozone layer is to absorb the ultraviolet rays of the sun. These ultraviolet rays of the sun are very harmful to us. It can cause diseases like skin cancer. So it is due to the presence of ozone layer that we are protected from the ultraviolet rays of sun. 
its proportion in air is about 3%. No, not really. So which of the statements are correct? So we already saw that B and C are correct. So the second option is the right option. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson on wastewater story. And I think you would have understood the importance of treating wastewater. Why are we talking about managing wastewater? Why are we having sewage treatment plants? So I hope that you will also follow some of the practices from your end being a good citizen in handling wastewater in a better way. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.